Today, we're diving into the colorful realm of Final Cut Pro's automatic color balancing. Getting those vibrant hues just right can make your videos pop, and we're here to unravel the magic behind it. Let's get started. Final Cut Pro has this really cool tool that fixes colors in our clips, and we'll use it on these two clips we've got here. Now press the keyboard shortcut Command-7 to show the video scopes. If your video scopes look different, no worries. Just tap on the waveform icon. Then go for the waveform, click on RGB Parade, and choose Irie. These cool charts from left to right basically tell us how much red, green, and blue are in our clips from the left side to the right side of the frame. And those numbers going up and down, they tell us how bright or light the colors are. We want colors to be spread nicely between 0 and 100. In one clip, there's a bit too much blue, and the other looks dark because it's missing those lighter shades. Let's test out the color balance tool and see if it can help. First, we select the clip. Then we go to this magic wand icon under the viewer and click Balance Color or use the shortcut Option-Command-B. Watch the magic happen. The blues shift to balance out with the reds and greens. That looks much better. Oh, and before we move on, how about a thumbs up to spread some positivity? It tells me if I'm doing a good job and helps others find this video. Thanks a bunch. How this color balance tool works can change depending on whether you've used the Analyze Colors tool before or not. If you've already done the color analysis before hitting the color balance, Final Cut does its color magic based on the frame it thinks is closest to perfect lighting. But what happens if your clip hasn't been analyzed yet? Let's try it out. Choose the clip, then click that magic wand icon and hit Balance Color. In this case, where your playhead is on the clip, decides which frame gets color balanced. See the difference? the colors now spread out way more than before. Usually, if your clip was analyzed, it gives you a better color balance, making your video look more awesome. But hey, automated color correction isn't always the hero. There's another way that's super handy and gives you more say. Now, it's time to crack open the guide on how to fix white balance in Final Cut Pro. I've got five tools up my sleeve to fix those white balance problems. Plus, I'll show you how to do it for a bunch of clips at once. Click here to check it out. 